Okay, so I'm just going to um, just show off the uh, the new companion app for Battle Pirates a little bit. Um, so it's just kind of been announced within the last few days that there is a companion app for Battle Pirates. Um, so it's only available at the moment in New Zealand, um, but there. There has been a few people who have been fortunate enough to try this before. Um, so we're allowed to share some of our thoughts and opinions on the app so far. So I'm going to just pretty much show you what it is and how it works. Um, so this is the home screen that you log into. You can see there's up-to-date notifications telling you about the upcoming event. Uh, so it says, Welcome to Balpars HQ. Uh, this is what we can do at the moment. Launch and recall fleets from base. Also, FM and event targets for points. Start fleet repairs. See concise battle log and get notifications. Uh, it does give you some information about what's coming soon. So we should expect some base repair. The ability to do time-limited campaigns, expeditions, bounty and more. So who knows what that will be. But I'll show you through anyway. See what we've got. So... You click on this button here and you got the fleets. Uh, it shows you all of your fleets. All of my fleets are fixed. Um, I'll show you anyway. So you can recall your guard. The guard fleet will be the one at the bottom. Um, as you can see from the left hand side, there's a little shield telling you that it's a guard fleet. Um, so you have the option, do you want to recall your fleet? So you could do that. I just pretty much do this so you can see that you can deploy a fleet in your guard. Let's say you wanted to put something else in. I don't. I want to put this in. Uh, I will say, obviously, this is just a defender. So, you know how in your dock in the game, you cannot launch this fleet on the map. So, that's why you've only got the option to defend on this one. Whereas if I, let's say, I click on, uh, on my Skyfires here. I have the option to launch the fleet or to defend my base with that. Obviously, I don't want to defend the base with Skyfires. So I'm going to put my uh, my actual base guard back in. Now you see it's defending. But it's pretty cool. Um, now let's see what we can hit. So I, I'm actually going to launch um, this fleet right here, uh, which is my Hunter fleet. Because... I can auto the uh, map targets with that. Now, you see how it now says on world map. One thing to note is your fleet is actually now on the world map. As you would imagine, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if there's people who are sniping you, for example, uh, you, you cannot see your fleet on the map. You cannot move or control your fleet on the map. But everybody else in the game can see that you just launched a fleet as if you launched it from your real base. So that's something to bear in mind when you're out or in loads of targets. Um, so I'm going to go here into this fleet that I've just launched. And you can see I can recall the fleet. It will just, same as pressing recall fleet in the game, no difference. Uh, or you can press select target. Uh, just take a moment to look at this background, that's pretty cool. I like the way the kind of water ripples. Um, the ship's kind of swaying side to side. Something smoking in the background. It's kind of like a, a live animated background. Um, that's all there is. There's not much more than, than what you just see there. But let's select a target. So, for sake of mission, there are no targets available. Now, this is Thursday morning in the UK. So, of course, there's no FM targets. But they would be there. Um, and they have been there once the FM is on. Event targets. Uh... Now this will just have all of the map targets on the event, so there'll be like a few from each tier for you to hit, such as 60s, 80s, uh, whatever, the 50s, I think they're a thing now, but salvage, if you wanted to open salvage on your phone, um, you could most certainly do that. Now, I don't care about hitting salvage, so you, you got, they've even got elite salvage on here. Uh, some people do use Elite Salvage for a way of gaining Uranium, so if you really, really are that way inclined, you can do so. But here we go, I'm going to hit some Uranium targets. And see how it gives you the chords and the, the sector. 
the sector threat is probably not um, probably not orange, which is why I'm only getting uh, two hundred and fifty. In fact, no, that sorry, that's that's showing us medals. I think that's a bug. Uh, yeah, everything shows us two hundred and fifty. So that's that's the medals. So it doesn't tell me the uranium I'm going to get, but I'm going to go and hit this one or two anyway. So ignore the medals bit where it says enemy. Um, it's something that they need to work on. So you can see that I'm nine seconds from this target, moving to attack. So it's the same as on the game. You know, you move. Effectively, I've right-clicked this target now, so I will engage it as soon as I hit there. Now, once that's finished, and I have engaged in that battle, uh, you have the, the the typical battle countdown screen. Now, once I've engaged in the battle and completed, I will be uh, just sat on the map, like a sitting duck. So it's up to me to go back on and recall my fleet manually. Um, and that's in combat. You can't watch the combat, I'm afraid. You can only sit here and look at the screen. There's nothing. There's no. There's no combat whatsoever. You can't see your base. You can't even repair your base yet. So it's a bit of a shame. Um, but while that's doing that, um, let's see what else you've got. So you've got battle log. Uh, it shows you. Uh, let's scroll down so I can see some. So here's a good example. You can see the one at the top there. Uh, someone peaked my base. So it tells you on the right hand side that it's base where the bear attacked me. He only peaked my base, so I, there's no damage to either of us. But then the one underneath, three days and 15 hours ago, I attacked someone. Um, and it tells me it was a Fleavy Fleet. And it tells me my damage was 13%, his was 100%. So it's pretty cool how it does that. Um, you also get to see some more information such as the player's name, their ID number, and if medals are a relatable thing um, let's see so yeah so here's, here's one Jax Jax hit me and got one medal so you can see there's one star there if you're um, so not one medal one star so he, that means he got 50% in my base, but he didn't get the second star, so he failed to get the outpost. So it does it does give you somewhat a descriptive uh, battle log, but it's not as detailed as clicking battle log in-game, of course. Maybe there'd be something to work on. I'd like it if you could click uh, on each each one here, and it, and it kind of dropped down with the actual percentage of each ship. Um, um, so th that would be something useful. Uh, and then settings... This is pretty much it, to be honest. So you can see you got some notifications. Uh, you can turn that background off if you uh, if you want, and just get a normal background there. I kind of like it. So uh, event updates for sake of mission updates. Uh, these two are both on. I've never seen any of those before pop up, so I'm not sure if that's working yet. Uh, something for Kickstarter to perhaps work on. But this one's a cool one at the top. Ship repair complete. Now that one does work. So whenever my ship uh, repairs I get a push notification so for those of you who don't know that's a notification that is effectively pushed through your phone as if if someone comments on a post on Facebook or sends you a message or messenger or something you get a, a little notification here on your on your phone that pops up so it will say fleet repair complete so you can click on that and it takes you straight here and you can repair your uh, repair your ships now this is a a good, a good timing actually because my fleet has just finished repairing sorry just finished the target you see it's 90 percent hp and i want to bring that back to my base and dock the fleet so uh i can instant repair the fleet on the map now here i can see my wallet because i need to repair so you can see all of your res so you can see how much oil metal energy and zinc you have you can also see how much gold you have so you know do you want to repair it or do you not want to repair it? Now, th there's a couple of things here that, that really frustrate me that I wish they would add. So that is, A, if I want to coin this fleet, how much coin is it? So I can see I have 171 gold at the moment. Is it going to take 1 gold or 10 gold to repair my fleet? Now, I can look at the health and I guess that's probably 1 or 2 coins. But I'd like to know before repairing something on the map if I was that way inclined. Let's say I'm here in the raid target and I have... I hit a few back to back and I've got 
a 34 minute repair. I wouldn't want a coin 34 minutes for two gold. I would probably go to my base, uh, spend one coin and speed up four minutes, but you can't do that here. So, and anyway, I'm going to press recall fleet. So I'll probably take a good eight seconds and there we go, it's coming back. Um, another thing while that's coming back, you see how it said my wallet and it showed me my res. There's nowhere else to see that. I'd like to see that anywhere, just casually. Like, how much res do I have? Do I need to go out and open some cargo on my phone while I'm at work? Do I need to go and hit some uh, base parts? Um, I don't know because I can't see how many base parts I have. Um, I could be full on base parts and not realise and wasting wasting repair. Uh, so that's that's bad. Let's go and repair this now. Now we can see it's a repair instant. It's three gold. And it's a 1 hour 29 minute repair. So it shows you how much res you're going to spend. But that, that that's good. But that needs to be on the map as well. If I'm doing a map repair I need to know that information also. If I was wanting to speed this up and coin this. Then 1, minute and, sorry, one hour and 29 minutes. That's actually really uh, just under the 3 gold. So I would probably do that if I was willing to coin it. But if that was 1 minute more. I would not be spending a fourth coin on 12 seconds. So they need that information out on the map, really. Let's start that repair. That will update and do the repair. And then you can see now it's repairing. And the icon changes to a spanner on the side. You get a timer on the right. And in one hour and 29 minutes, I will get a notification on my phone to tell me my fleet's repaired. Thankfully, everything's fixed. So I don't need to worry. I can just remove the notification and leave that as it is. But had I had, let's say my fine, uh, fine tooths here were damaged, um, I, I would get a prompt to log into the game and repair. And that's really what I use the app for at the moment. Almost wholly is to use the prompt to, uh, well, to remember to log on and repair the next item of, of, of my dock. So there's a few things missing. Um, base repair, obviously, that they said down here that that's getting added. Um... I'd like to see an extended wallet, so I'd like to be able to see how much res I have, including premium resources, such as base parts and titanium. Uh, when they do in implement the base a repair, it'd be cool if we could get a notification for our base getting hit, just like I get a notification when my fleet's repaired, I'm sure that's something can put on there. Um, yeah, I think that there's definitely some work that needs to be done. And w will I use this fleet, uh, this app, often at the moment? No, I only use it when uh, I get the re repair notification. Honestly, um, if I want to do anything else, then at the moment I'm using Puffin. Um, so I, I just use Puffin because, well, it's a it's a hell of a lot easier. To uh, I'm sure most of you have seen Puffin already. It just basically loads the game as you see it on the browser. And with that, you've um, you've got the ability to actually drive and hit targets if you really wanted to, which I, I do sometimes do on my phone. You've got the ability to repair your base, start any shipyard builds, any retrofits, um, any researches or whatever you've got to do, which no, none of that you can do on here. So that will be a huge thing that needs to be added, is the ability to start ships, uh, build turrets, upgrade buildings and whatever else you can do. That all needs to be on here before I use this uh, as a replacement for Puffin. But anyway, that's kind of the, the extendedly long showcase that I wasn't expecting to be on for so long. But here you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and see in the next few months how, how the app develops. And if there are any huge changes, then I will uh, I will make a video and show them. So, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching.